This is going to be all right. I can tell you, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. I've never seen it like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what is ridiculous is the name. Why? Why? This right here is election time. It's just all qualified to the Senate. <laughs> I think scared of a baron. That's Thanks. what it is. <laughs> my name is Joe S.P. I'm an attorney and along with my two sons, Ben and Bill. My friend Rocky Watson, his office is right across the street. Represent our friend, Senator Lowell Barrett. The matter, we're looking at four instances. Four, not six, four. They've charged two of the instances twice. All four appear to be related strictly to campaign money. No public funds at all. And while we are looking at it right now, it appears that all four were publicly disclosed. Say that again, publicly disclosed. The latest being probably a year, year and a half ago. Hundreds of thousands of taxpayers' dollars have been paid in the prosecution of Lowell Barron with not one penny, not one penny of public money is involved in any of the charges. Now let me say that again so you make it clear. Not one penny of public money is charged in any of the charges. Not one charge of violating his office of a senator for which he served over 30 years is in the charges. The charges are political and their campaign. That's what they are. It is a witch hunt against a man who served this county for over 30 years as your public servant in which no charges have ever been brought against him in that public capacity. Just exactly what are the charges? This is what we understand them to be. Now, please understand, we just got them this morning. It appears that they're all campaign. Two of them charge ethics violations, but it, and I apologize, I've got somebody's thing right here. Oh, two of them charge ethics violations, but they're the same thing as the campaign charges. They don't deal with public money. What they're saying is, as we read the charges, that some campaign money raised from private funds were not used for the campaign purposes. We absolutely dispute that. It appears that all of them say the money was used for a lady named Johnson, who clearly was a campaign worker. Many of you may have worked with her in putting outside. I see the commissioner shaking his head, holding meetings in Scottsboro and Madison and DeKalb. I have never seen a case brought like this. What message do you want to get out to us? Get ready. Come on up here, big boy. We're right here. You're about seven feet tall. We ain't that big. But if this courthouse will fit you, let's go. And, and we hope we see him up here. Let's go. Let's, let's lace him up and get ready and go. Let's do this process. Thank you, Joe. Last November, my doctor told me that I had only a 10% chance to be alive and to lead a normal life. I thank God and the people that said many, many prayers for me. And not only am I alive today, I got up this morning and I watched the sun rise over that beautiful mountain. It was a beautiful sight. You know, I was raised on the farm by my mama. We were poor. And when times got really hard, and they did quite often, mama would call us around and she'd get out and pray. And when she got through, she said, it looks dark right now, but we gotta have a positive attitude, and I can assure y'all it'll be all right. Well, I can tell you, I had some dark days during my injury, during my recovery. But Mother's words were always with me. 
I'm optimistic about my recovery. But I am saddened to stand here before you today with the victim of a vicious witch hunt by Luther Strange from Montgomery. You know, if it had taken my life to get a man, it would not have been worse than Luther Strange trying to take my good name. You know, the last time that Montgomery South Alabama crowd came after us was 1983. The people of DeKalb County sent them a strong message. They elected me as a, the only and the first Riley and can Senate candidate in the history of this state. You know, we just don't like the South Alabama crowd coming up here and telling us what to do. 30 years have passed, the names have changed, but the tactics have not changed. They're up here and they're at it again. The folks in DeKalb County didn't let them win then, and they won't let them win this time. Mr. Espy just said, this is the truth. I, there's nobody that I trust more than the folks in the Cal County to sit on a jury to judge my innocence, to judge me that I trust the people of the Cal County. I just ask you to look at the facts and look at the motivation of the Montgomery crowd, and I have complete confidence. You'll clear my name. 